Okay, it didn't count down for me. We are doing lesson 1.7. Um, not the best color to, sorry. Um, we're doing 1.7, which is mul multiplying rational numbers. Um, the thing that it's doing is it's adding fractions. So the solve and discuss it was one where we had to kind of play with it a little bit, knowing that we have two fifths. So we're going to be dealing with fractions. Um, this is something we can do in class. I want you guys to play and struggle and see what you come up with as an answer, but they're wanting to know how long that could be. All right, so big picture, what they're doing is they're making sure that you realize that the rules for multiplying is the same, whether it's a fraction or a decimal. Um, the adding uh, a positive to negative, it, it's the same, even though it is, so notice that I'm down there, um, a, a decimal. So this shows that it's a negative two elevation change, but his is three times and so we would do three times negative 1.2. That is the equation that they came up with right here from our word problem. And you'll notice that when they multiply them, it still became a negative number. So a positive times a negative will equal a negative. The difficulty is added because we're dealing with um, multiplying decimals and fractions. So let's look at this and we'll be blue. Megan's bank account is charged $9.95 per month for an online newspaper. So charged means it's negative. How could you represent the change in her account balance after three months of change? So this shows one group, two groups, three groups of negative $9.95. So that means I have to do three times 9.95. Um, I'm going off to the side and I'm probably not going to talk while I'm doing the multiplication because I always tend to mess it up. So. We got 29.85. And it would be negative because it is a positive three times a negative nine. So after three months, the change in her account balance is twenty nine eighty five negative twenty nine eighty five. Convince me, Megan's bank account is charged three times without calculating. How can you determine whether this is a negative or positive change to her account? The word charge. means it's taking money out. Okay, so when you multiply with decimals, it's the exact same. Um, when we multiply with fractions, those same rules are going to apply as well. Um, and of course, it doesn't, yeah, see a positive, by a negative will end up being a negative. I don't know what just happened there. Um, an example through a negative times a negative will end up being a positive. So again, those are the same rules that we've been dealing with. We're just showing that it also works when you are multiplying fractions and decimals. So we gotta do the try it and this might take me a while. So I'm gonna go off to the side, negative 5.3 times 2.6, negative 2.6. Now, when you multiply decimals, lining up is not the important part, but counting the decimals at the end is. So you start by multiplying your first number by each number at the top. So six times three is 18, carry my one. Five times six is 30, add the one back on, so that'll be 31. Then I have my placeholder. Sometimes teachers use an X, sometimes teachers use a zero. And the reason why it's a placeholder is because it's holding this place and you're moving to this side now. So two times three is six, 
and two times five is 10. Then you have to add those numbers together, eight, seven, three, one. And last but not least, I'm going to orange. You count how many decimal spaces you have. There's one on the top, two on the bottom, or one on the bottom. So we count two spaces. My answer to that first problem would be, um, it's a negative times a negative, so the answer will be positive 1378. All right, we're gonna do B, which is negative three-fifths times four and one six. Now the first thing that you have to know is that this is a problem. You cannot multiply fractions unless you have done, I think one of your teachers calls it the C method, which is four times six plus the one. Well, four times six is 25, four plus the one is 25. So that four and one six becomes 25 six and I'm bringing over my negative three fifths. So now I can multiply across the top and across the bottom, and I will get negative 75 over 30. That could be simplified. Um, I'm gonna come and solve it here. Negative 75 over 30. What I'm going to do is change that to negative 30 plus negative 30 plus negative 15. Um, I'm doing that so that I can recognize that each time I have a 30 on top, it matches and it would make a whole. So considering I have two 30s, that I have two, so negative two and 15 over 30, which reduces to two and one half negative. So that's the final answer. Um, I will say that we need more practice with the dividing of, or multiplying of fractions because there's lots of steps to it. All right, we're coming over to uh, the multiplying 0 0.2 times negative 1.78. Doesn't really matter how you line it up. You just have to make sure that you do all the numbers. So I'm going to start by doing 8. Whoa, that was the wrong button. 8 times 2. 8 times 0. So 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 0 times 8 is 1, but I need to give the 1 back on. So now I have my second, which I have to do 7 times 2, 7 times 0. So I'm holding that place value. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. Uh, 7 times 0 is 1. Put the 1 back. Um, now I'm going to do the last set of numbers, which is one times two, one times zero. Placeholder, x, x, one times two is two, one times zero is zero, so now I add. Bring this down, that's six, four plus one is five, one plus two is three, bring down the zero. Last step is we have to count how many decimal places there are. There's one, two, three. So one, two, three. Your answer for this one, because there's one negative, is the last question I ask. It's negative 0 0.356. So negative 356 thousands. Now this last one, it has a decimal and a fraction. So you have two ways to do this. You can either do negative 2.5 times 7 tenths, and 7 tenths would be written like that, um, and they're both negative. Or you can do it with a fraction. Negative 2 and 1 half times 7 tenths. Um, either way is fine. I'm going to do fractions and decimals. So in order to do the fractions, I have to do the 2 times 2 plus 1. So 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2. So 2 and a half is the same as 5 halves. And then I bring down my other number. And they're both negative. So 5 times 7 across the top is 35. 2 times 10 across the bottom is 20. I have to simplify. And you'll get 1 and 15 twentieths or 1 and 2 thirds because I reduced 
wait, three fourths. Yeah, three fourths. Sorry. Or if you like doing decimals or multiplying decimals better, that's fine. You just have to do the same rules. Five times seven is 35, carry the three. Two times seven is 14, 15, 16, 17. Have my placeholder, zero times five is zero. Zero times two is zero. Add five, seven, one. Count your decimals. One decimal, two decimal. So this final answer is 1.75 or one and three fourths. And they are positive because there are two negatives. All right, so I think we've went over. We're going to go over the rest of this at a different date.